I saw that the that war, uh, a great war, had broken out inside Europe. So many European citizens running away and fleeing from their nation, from their countries, and uh, they were homeless. They did not even have time to carry their things the way African refugees carry their belongings on their backs or on their heads. I only saw them fleeing with a few clothes on their bodies and a few items, let's say like their briefcase or hand luggage. Praise the Lord. My name is Evangelist Seth Omundi Olale from Nairobi, Kenya. I want to share with you a dream that I had early today in the morning. It was more of an open eye vision. It was between a dream and an open eye vision. I woke up early in the morning and uh, I believe God brought me a vision of what is coming to Europe. I cannot tell the date that this will happen. But I was shown different places in Europe. Of uh, there is a judgment that is coming upon the continent of Europe. In this dream and uh, open eye vision. I saw that the that war, uh, a great war, had broken out inside Europe. I'm I'm not talking about Ukraine. This is not Ukraine. I'm now talking about the countries in Europe outside Ukraine. I saw that there was a great war that had broken out of Europe. And I saw many European citizens running away and fleeing from their nation, from their countries. I saw many European citizens running away from their country, from their countries, and they were homeless and they were in great fear and panic. I know many of you have seen the videos and documentaries of refugees who are running from Iraq, from Afghanistan, from Libya. You have seen videos and television reports, news of refugees who are running from Ethiopia, from Somalia, from Rwanda, remember the, the Rwanda massacre or what happened in the Rwanda genocide? You remember the way CNN and BBC and American and European television stations were showing us news 
of hundreds of thousands or even millions of people fleeing away from Rwanda. They were carrying their, their luggage on their head and they were fleeing into the neighboring countries of Tanzania and the Democrat, Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, during the 1994 Rwanda genocide. So in this dream that I saw early in the morning today, I saw that Europe, there was a war that had broken out in Europe. And uh, I saw European citizens running away and fleeing from their countries in large numbers. They did not even have time to carry their things the way African refugees carry their belongings on their backs or on their heads. I only saw them fleeing with the few clothes on their bodies and a few items, let's say that like their briefcase or hand luggage, and they were fleeing. I saw them, and I saw Europeans fleeing from their from their countries. And then I, I was shown, I was told that that war is coming to Europe, that this will happen in Europe. Actually, those were the the words I can now remember, or the impression that I was given during this vision. There is a spiritual language that God normally talks to somebody when he or she or, or when he or she is seeing things in the spiritual realm when they are being given dreams by from God. So I believe that uh, there is a war that is coming to Europe and I believe Russia and Belarus are the ones that are going to start this war to fight back against NATO and America and Ukraine. The, the war in Ukraine is now going to expand beyond the borders of Ukraine. Russia is now going to start hitting at cities and countries outside Ukraine. So my advice to you, if you are living in Europe, do your best to move away as far away as possible from the borders of any country that is near Russia. Because the way I saw the war that is coming and the way I saw refugees fleeing, I have a strong feeling that the nation of Germany, the nation of France, and uh, the nations of Belgium and uh, those European countries uh, bordering Russia, also like Poland and uh, Lithuania, uh, Moldova, uh, and the former uh, former Warsaw countries like Estonia, uh, Latvia, those countries that are found in the Baltic Sea, uh, surrounding the Baltic Sea, the Baltic states. Germany, Poland, Bulgaria, many countries in Europe are going to be shaken by Russia. Because I saw European refugees, they were fleeing from their countries. And the way I saw that they were fleeing, they were coming from the north and they were coming towards the south. They were leaving the north and they were heading towards the south. I believe that in future, many European refugees are going to flee to Africa. As I told you before, that when World War III escalates, uh, Africa will be a far much safer place than, than America or Europe and even uh, Asia. Africa will be far much safer once World War III breaks out. Because I saw many European refugees fleeing from the north and they were heading towards the south and they were in great distress and they were living in large numbers. This war is not only going to affect the Europeans who are living in big cities, because I saw, I even saw Europeans who are living in the rural, rural areas, in small towns and villages.
they were all fleeing from those villages and those small towns in European countries. So it means that there is a great war that is coming. So take this to the Lord in prayer. Understand it at the time, Imenos. The tears streamed from the old woman's eyes down her cheeks. I will not see it, but you will. Then suddenly, Jesus will come and the Third World War breaks out. It will be a short war, she saw it in the vision. All that I have seen of war before is only child's play compared to this one, and it will be ended with a nuclear atom bomb. The air will be so polluted that one cannot draw one's breath. It will cover several continents, America, Japan, Australia and the wealthy nations. The water will be ruined contaminated. We can no longer till the soil. Hear that word, what the woman said. He said, all the world she has been seeing at that time is a shite play. A shite play. That this one, this third war, though it will be short, but it will be so mighty and so serious that everywhere will be perished. The war will took over every Europe, America, Japan. You have to have a global something here. <laughs> Imagine all these places are destroyed. This Russia, this is uh, Ukraine, this is uh, you can call them. We have Yemen, you have uh, begin to look at them Turkey, Iran, Pakistan. I don't know whether they are all those places. All those places, all those Asian countries, all those uh, Americans, uh, call them, all of them will be completely leveled down. Leveled down. If you look at Revelation, it said they will only breed because the, 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 the air will be contaminated. They will only breed, only breed. Children will be dying in your presence. All will be dying in your presence. The young and old. In this way, this is not me. This is just a revelation of the young old woman who has revelation and died. The woman must have been with Jesus right now. But this is a warning from the Lord. If not till we put fire for mount, now you go tell me, say, what will they tell you? Na serious matter. It's not when we put air for ground, we they use air day water. Now you will know, see what you talk. No be for joke. This is a revelation we are telling you. Do you know what the Lord told me? I will tell you after the revelations. What God told me this morning, I'm going to uh, explain to you very well. So that you can know. Oh, ah. He said, even the ground will be so destroyed that they will not be able to toil with the soil. Which means that soil will not produce fruit again. The soil will be totally destroyed. Water will be totally destroyed. When you want to take water, you'll be seeing a lot of uh, different chemical poisons there. You take it, you die. This is what is going to happen to this European company, countries. You can't change it. You can't run away from it. It's going to happen. And you as a Christian, you're going to say, this man is just looking for somebody in his cap. Wait. For what? For what? I must warn you. And this is just a pure message. I must warn you. I must warn you. I have told you many times. Leave that place. You are hearing third war. You are hearing it. He says it's going to happen in a time you didn't expect. Least expected. And when it happens, problem will happen. If you hear what the woman say again, you will understand that it's more than what you take. The result will be that only a remnant will remain. The remnant in the wealthy countries will try to flee to the poor countries, but they will be as hard on us as we were on them. I am so glad that I will not see it. But when the time draws near, you must take courage and tell this. I have received it from God, and nothing of it goes against what the Bible tells. If you look at it very well, you will see that the woman was saying something. He said, the world was, is going to be so powerful 
that almost all the human nature will be destroyed almost all he said only the remnant will be remaining who are the remnant they said he said the remnant will be remaining during the war not when the wars. now and along the way along the war time the remnant in the wealthy country will be trying to run to the africa <laughs> hey, they will try to be coming to africa so that they can come and take refuge he said but it will be very hard which means that there will not be way out now let me tell you something this is a prophecy of the living god that happened since 1968 what are we now 2004 uh, 2024 2024 that's what we have now and in our present in our very own eyes we are seeing it i want to tell you very well whether you like it or not the lord told me something this morning when he showed me that revelation he said i should tell everyone he said i should tell people the the christian the jewish the israelite that in the oversee he said you are just destroying yourself the lord told me that the people there you are going to america to go and build house to go and buy a house meanwhile you are supposed to be in the camp where you shall be saved in Africa, in Nigeria. Where you are supposed to be saved. That is where you're supposed to be building your house there. Many of you, it will be close to the time of the war. You become it. You will eventually start sleeping inside bush. Are you even aware that there is a prophecy in Nigeria right now? There is a place in Nigeria that a great man of god who god used in africa opposed to joseph and Babalala, i prophesize that there will be a regarding are you aware and that is where we are now there is a great prophecy in that place that there will be a regarding of the whole worldwide in nigeria go to internet there are messages some are saying this one let me tell you something very well many of you you are saying you are having some camp who told you many africa will be destroyed the only people that is going to be remaining are only people who are in the in the camp of god where god is going to stay with them and, and guide them whether you like it or not the regarding of israel god is talking about is going to is gathering now it's not it's gathering now and he's building himself to stay with he's, he's, he's building his camp himself the money you are using to go and build in the white country the Lord i should tell you that very soon atomic bomb will destroy your house that house that car you have there that you are seeing in the white country atomic bomb will destroy it very soon that is the reason why you're supposed to be to be building now in the camp many of you are supposed to be coming to the camp now and be investing there building your house building what where you are going to stay when these things happen but you are there busy with businesses you are there going around shopping around he says it's going to happen like a sudden sudden by the grace of the living god i don't just have a mountain i was somebody was telling me he said that he had about uh, so i was i was having a mountain so he too he was led and he to go and have a mountain and that mountain could last and cause a problem i said is it god that told you he said well i'm less i said oh i was seven years old when jesus christ appeared to me physically not in the dream physically the same way god appeared to moses jesus appeared to me when i was seven years old and told me about regarding that he has sent me to regard the people i know many of you are looking you are support you are your mindset was like is the people who must regard that somebody who must regard the world must be white man or he must be very old or he must be you know he must be having a white yes and he must be 
Wait. If that is what you are looking at, then you are going to waste your time. By the special grace of the living God, I'm using this time to tell you, awake now. Now that you can see for yourself what is going on in the world, there's a threat everywhere. Everybody, it's not a news again. It's not things you are going. It's something is going. It's going on every day. It's going on every day. It's not something that is new. There's going to be what turn what wrong. But I will advise you to begin to get your place now, before it is too late, before you eventually get encamped where you are not supposed to be getting encamped. Many of you that are having a car. You want to go out. Some people I have we have a cap in uh, Asia, have a cap in America, have a cap in so, yeah. Go, um, there will be level down. There will be level down. All of them leveled. When they say something level that I miss, there will not be a stone standing. Level down. Even the road will be destroyed. Even their water will be destroyed. It is a plan of God. After this thing happened. The, according to rumor said and according to the bible the bible talk about this in Matthew chapter 24 he said after the tribulation the son of the son of man what we come so after the third world war jesus christ will appear a world is enough for a wise i i there's no other way i can tell you that the way i'm telling you Come now, do waste your time. Whether you are in Nigeria, you are a white, even though you are a white, if you believe you are a child of God and you know you are an Israel, come to the camp before it is too late. I pray God be with you. Don't just listen to this message. Share it with your family. It's time to tell your wife. It's time to tell your family because you never can tell. Tomorrow might be the time when something will happen. Tell everyone. You yourself. Run very fast. Don't stay to it. That Nigeria you have you have destroyed will still be the one. God will still bring you to if you are Israelite, if you are not going to be destroyed. And hear it very well. What God said to me: if you will die in that war, you won't make it to heaven because you die in death of disobedience. In the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Subscribe to my channel. Please press like so that you can go far. I share it to everyone. I remain a prosecutor, Daniel. God bless you. I'm going to do it.